Okay, babes, so in today's video, I have a wig review for you, so let's get into it. Okay, y'all, so today I'll be using this Isha glue. It is waterproof. This is what it looks like, and I have used this before. I have done a YouTube video on it, but I don't know if it's still posted, so if I did, then I'll make sure I link it in the description, but here is my little wiggy, wiggyana, <laughs> and I actually got the wrong color. Y'all, y'all, I got the wrong color. But this is like a peachy color. It's supposed to be a golden peach. And the color that I was supposed to get was golden amber, but they actually ran out. So I was like, okay, yeah, I'll get the other one. Not really thinking too much about it, like what color I'm getting. But it's okay, like it is what it is. Um, it comes in color chocolate, brown, cinnamon spice. It looks like a reddish color. Uh, the golden amber and the golden peach and then it has like an ombre with the blonde and then ombre with like I think it's like a brownish color and here's what the back looks like like that and then I'm sure y'all already seen the front but yeah my stuff don't want to focus but yeah um so yeah it says it's heat resistant pre puck lace parting i might pluck it again i feel like i have to pluck it so <laughs> and yeah it says natural baby hairs so we just gonna get into this video okay I'm gonna go do my makeup and change my outfit. I will be back. <sighs> Y'all, look at my lights. <laughs> Just look at you. It's, it's okay. We, we gonna fix it. We gonna fix it. So I did fix it. Okay, the thing that happened was the glue. So with this glue, I already know it's super sticky, but it was stickier than I than the original glue that I had. So I don't know if the last glue just wasn't the real one or if this isn't the real one, but that's a problem because it should have never had been that sticky when it's supposed to be dry and just, I have never had that problem before. So that was my first time ever having that problem. I did work it out, okay? I do wanna put a little bit of makeup because if y'all know me, I do not put makeup on my forehead. Especially when I wear wigs. Okay, y'all. So, you know, I got the wrong wig. But it's okay. Because this is still super cute. And I should have known, okay? So, I got golden peach. But I wanted to get golden amber. But it was out of stock. So, I was like, okay, I'll just get golden peach. Maybe that's the right one. Not thinking peach is more like it's probably pinkish, and this wig is pinkish, but it's okay, it's okay, it still came out super cute. It definitely complements like my skin and all that good stuff, it just makes me look really pretty. But yeah, let's just go over the construction of the wig and the color first. So they have chocolate, which is brown, they have cinnamon spice, that's like a red, going in amber. I don't know, it's a golden color. Yeah. Um, the golden peach. And then you got a mixture of like black fading to I wanna say brown and then a blonde, cream blonde fading with the black. 
and yeah and da, 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 da. oh yeah this is the ultra way don't want to know that <laughs> hg transparent lace it takes heat it has pre it is it did come pre-plucked okay and it had natural baby hairs okay okay now i just want to talk about this construction this big construction okay and <laughs> ugh, this, so many things went wrong with this wig y'all like i'm kind of frustrated but it happens okay i guess I don't know. This is my first time that this crap has ever happened to me. So, we're gonna start off and just say the construction of this wig was actually really crappy. I really hated it. Like, yeah. And I usually have, like, good stuff to say about my, like, wig reviews, y'all. Um, and I do have good stuff to say. But, yeah, the construction wasn't it. The track was falling out. Um... The good thing is that I know how to glue a track back on. I know how to sew a track back on. So, you know, I fixed that real quick. But, yeah, the track over here, it was coming out. But it's like, if I didn't know how to do that, then I would have been going around looking stupid. Or I would have had to take the wig off or something like that. But I should have known better because <laughs> how they made the wig, it was just weird on the inside anyways. Like, it didn't really give me a cap vibe. It was, it was just interesting it was really different and i don't like it i feel as if like after a while my head might start itching because of how they made the wig but we just gonna see and whatnot right now i don't feel anything so i mean can't be that bad i guess but yeah and then it is a tea part I don't think I already said that. But yeah, it's a tea part. Y'all already know when I order wigs, as long as it says lace and I trust the company, I'm going to buy it. Okay? If it's that, then I, I, I'm going to buy it. <laughs> I don't care if it's a C part. I don't care if it's a lace front. I don't care if it's frontal, um, closure. I don't care. I, I'm going to get it because it says lace in it. Okay? And if I like it, I like it. If I don't, I don't. But, um... I think, oh yeah, for the construction, there's three, three clips. I don't take mine out for some reason. I mean, I could because I never use them, but I don't take them out. I just leave them. They don't usually bother me anyways. And it had a band. This wig actually does fit really well. It is also big head friendly. <laughs> um, I think that's all for the construction. I do love the parting space though. Okay, I see. 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 But yeah, I love that. And now we're just gonna kind of like go back to this color. I know y'all see it. I know y'all see the body. Okay. One thing that I do like about this wig is the more that I brush it, the bigger it gets. And I love big wigs. Like, <laughs> I love big wigs. They're just so, they're so attractive to me. Like, okay, girl, I, I see you. I see you. I see you. <laughs> let me let me stop. Let me stop. But what really irritated me when I was applying this wig, it honestly isn't even the wig's fault. Cause I just I don't think it is. I think it was the glue that I was using. I did use the Isha glue and it failed me <laughs> again. <laughs> Which is weird because when I first tried it, it worked so well for me. And then it's just been going downhill. So I'm officially done with the Isha glue. In the garbage. Gone. Forever. Not coming back. Unless they make a different one, then okay, I might try it and see if it's improved or anything like that, you know. I'm not giving up on it completely, but at the moment, it's done for. <laughs> but <laughs> basically what happened was... I put the glue down, everything was okay, doing fine. I put my wig on, okay, cool. I tied my wig up, okay, and I did feel that it was kind of sticky. I already knew that the Isha glue was more on the sticky side, so I'm like, okay, like, uh, what's going on? Like, it's, it's, it's okay, but at the same time, it was a little bit questionable, but I kind of just, like, overlooked it. But when I went to, like, take off my band, my elastic band, it just looked 
a sticky mess. It was a sticky disaster. A disaster. And oh my god, I hate sucking bad about people's products. Ugh. But it, it failed me. <laughs> like, it was an absolutely complete negative five. Negative five out of ten. So I'm done because I had to go through the most to get that off and it's still not fully off. When I wash my face, because I have makeup on it, but when I wash up my face, I'll make sure to try to get it. But the thing is, the first Isha glue that I got, it didn't do that. So it could be different, you know, maybe one's fake. I don't know, but I don't want to mess with it no more. <laughs> but for the first one, all they did was slide back. But I noticed that that time when I did that, I put on mousse. So I'm like, okay, maybe I shouldn't put on mousse. But it's supposed to be water resistant, so I don't understand why the mousse would have affected it. I don't know, maybe it's like the bolt hold. I think with the bolt hold, you have to wait, like, don't quote me, but I think it's like 24 hours till you can, like, put water and stuff like that on it. But it just wasn't giving. It wasn't giving. And... So, yeah. What I will rate this wig though, we gon' front color wise, that is like 11 to 10, you know, rough my scale. <laughs> and then construction wise, I'm gonna have to rate it a 2. I'm gonna have to rate it a 2. And 2 to 10. 2, 2, 2, 10. 2, 2, 2. Yeah. <laughs> Length, okay, that's a 10. That's a 10. By the way, I'm 5 0 just so you know. okay and body 10 okay lace 10 plugness 10 <laughs> and let's see what else i got right yeah i think that's all that's that's all that great but yeah the curls are really nice they don't look kind of like uneven because i've had ways where like the curls were a little bit uneven so i had to finesse it a little bit but I didn't have to do that with this one. The curls match like on both sides. Okay. And I think I have told y'all everything. I've told you how I felt <laughs> about the install and the wig. Okay, it drove me crazy. But I got it done. And it looks okay. And I look good. Okay. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share the video with your friends. And JV is out.